Welcome to another episode of Sailing Ruby Rose. It is the 24th of May, which essentially means in seven months it's Christmas. Lots to see today, hole number one, Supernatural. She is two days away from being finished, that's done, all done. And Ruby Rose 2 is about four weeks away from being finished. So that kind of gives you an idea of how everything is a month apart. Finishing touches on hull one. Lots to show you there. There's a lot of little things and the differences between one and two are starting to become pretty obvious. Keep watching. This is going to be interesting for those of you who like boats. So here we are inside Ruby Rose 2. Another week, another week closer to launch. Things that have been done, the woodwork for the carpentry, all in place now. Nice, really nice curved edges. You will notice here the addition of these fiddles, something which we desperately, desperately wanted. So I'm going to just show you all this. Quality of Kevin's woodwork. Again, thank you, Kevin. So Ruby Rose 2, the nav desk, different with these fiddles. Again, fiddles for us are super, super important. And again, we will go down into the hull and you can probably see from the last time that I was in here, the carpentry team are definitely in play. Things that we have, these bookshelves, we had these changed so that they would actually take books. Our wardrobes are here. The wood flames have gone in, nice. And the bed is in. So this is all for Ruby Rose 2 carpentry. There's a lot of work going on here actually. So yes, it's good to see that. Mm. Nice. Nice. So one other thing I want to show you is the uh, the television ram. That area there is where our TV is going. And you're thinking TV on a boat? Why? This is our home. It is all going to be on a, an electric ram so that it pops up. And I believe this is the ram. Motorized ram. Whoop, up comes the TV and then it goes down when you're on passage. Nice. So I just want to interrupt this video 60 seconds for our sponsor today. Our sponsor is AG1. It's something that I've been using for about six months. It is essentially, it's a nutritional supplement and I drink it because in Vietnam, I do not get enough green fruit and veg in my diet. A scoop of AG1 every day. It has vitamin B6, vitamin B12, it's got folates, it's got vitamin C in it, it also tastes of vanilla, helps my gut immunity, provides me with nutrition, and makes you feel good. It's also vegan, gluten free, and dairy free. One scoop full of this every morning in a drink, straight down the old gullet, and I am free to go. It's actually really nice. It also has probiotics and enzymes and that promotes your gut immunity and your digestion. So if this all sounds pretty good to you, click on the link down below. There's uh, your first purchase. There's a lot of freebies included, including some supplements and some travel packs. So yeah, that's AG1. Hope you enjoyed that one. Back to the video. So before we take on Ruby Rose 2, let's have a quick spin around Hull 1 Supernatural. She is obviously ready to be uh, shipped now. But there are some small details on here that have been added to this boat and then all the subsequent boats, cup holders being number one. This uh, this was actually a far bigger thing to get over the line than you would think. And I'll discuss that with our patrons at some point later on. But yeah, taking a quick turn around the cockpit, there's obviously some final bits of, of work to do, some, uh, some stainless steel work still to be installed. But you know, the locations of bilge pumps, the locations of these diverter valves, these are all things that we will do in a full tour of Ruby Rose 2. The saltwater outlet for washing down the cockpit i think we have a fresh water one as well and the the forward backward helm seats they now have a locking pin that's pretty pretty clever to stop the the, the seat falling forward um but there are some little touches we you can see the tape on the on on the on the headlining there they that is simply just to hold the the blinds in place while they're being fitted so the blinds are actually a big thing in this boat um the whole process of changing the headlines has been pretty complicated in the galley they now have this spice rack just for to kind of like hold things in a seaway but the, yeah going back to the blinds they kind of the whole panorama they, they kind of like closes everything off they are very very beautiful very complicated and as such they have to have these these little temporary things put in place they are all articulated and closed beautifully Going down into the main hull, again, there's uh, a lot of things just to see. The 
just that the, the shower cubicle is huge. It allows you to sit down. There are grab rails on there. So if you do need to have a shower inside a seaway, that's all pretty secure. Really nice faucet there. And again, it's just all... This is getting far more like a home than, than, I, than, than I thought it would be. So there's a lot of really beautiful features here. We are super pleased. As of today, which is the 23rd of June, so our videos are a few weeks behind, Ruby Rose is probably two to three weeks from being launched. So I went into the, into the factory yesterday, had a really good chat with Mike Reese, and that is coming, uh, coming soon. So hope you enjoyed that. Small details. Let's go and have a quick look at Ruby Rose 2. This is Ruby Rose 2. A couple of things I want to point out to you. This, nice to see finally. Our oven microwave combi. So basically, Teresa and I, for those of you who don't know, we are very, very, very much into cooking. I don't just mean so that we can eat, but we're very much into, into cuisine and sailing around eating stuff. So we were very keen to get this barbecue specified so that we can grill here. That combination oven, the induction top, and with a, with a propane top there. So that's all gonna be in there. Again, as per previous episodes, the Corian has all been sent away to be templated. I'm gonna run through some other things that I've just picked up on. This area here, the television we've specified, which is the upgraded TV, it's a 40 inch 4K TV for editing. And also playing games, obviously, clearly, and watching Netflix. And so they've had to redesign this whole area. It's, this is the first boat. So, there is a hydraulic ram, okay, sorry, not a hydraulic ram, it's an electric ram that pushes a TV up. But also, as per the test sale, they've had to rebuild this panel that goes over the top. And one thing we said is, look, you are gonna to have to put fiddles in. You are gonna to have to put fiddles in this because without fiddles, everything's gonna roll off. So they've obviously gone away and remade this entire section so that it has fiddles, but also this flat will lift up. So this will be one whole piece and therefore our phones can stay perfectly happy there. So I'm just gonna, yeah, very impressed to see that. These little things that we picked up on. Our trifold door. Apparently it's being installed today. And let us take a dip down into the starboard side hull. Now I wanna show you these things because a lot of this has changed because of after the test center. It's very dark in here and there's no light. So I'm gonna run through all this with you. These panels, this, was all redesigned this baffle in place to slip this so that things don't roll around but it's a removable panel the drawers here have all been redesigned and it does look from these holes as if they are moving away from those milled catches which i did love but i'll talk to james about why they have changed all this it could have just been uh, functionality could have been cost could have been a few things now Let's just run through this with you. This is, and I'm not doing a big unveil because I'm being difficult about it. It's just because the final, they haven't started building it yet. This is our workshop. In this position, we have designed a multi-function workshop where this area, this just folds back. This is a burn. It is literally the uh, four, six, seventh burn. But this all will hinge back to reveal a workshop. There's two doors here. These two doors open up. When they open up, there's a bench that pulls out and then inside there, there's drawers. So you can flip this back, flip the mattress back. Then you've got a vise, all your drawers, your tools in here. And then when you're not using it, when you finish with everything, put it all back, it becomes a berth. It's so important to us, so important. And let me take a spin round. The master cabin, master hole, sorry. But clearly what they've done here, they've moved to more drawers. I actually prefer drawers to wardrobes just for the, the, the ease of storage. And the master cabin is the same. I need now to go and talk to Mr. Khan about placement of USB, USB sockets, because we have a lot of them and we need to make sure that they don't have any blue lights in because it drives me spare when blue lights are in. But again, they're clearly putting fiddles in here before they put the door on. So that's all good. And I think and that is about it. It is steaming hot, steaming hot. They've taken the plastic off of our foredeck now, so clearly they've finished the work that they had to do in remaking parts of the non-slip. This deck is all, all new for us, and then everything else, looking great. Dusty, but great, a bit like me. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go with the dusty. One other thing I want to show you is that our life raft is in. Our life raft is complete. It is in 
There you go. 30 seconds into the water and there is a discussion about how quickly you would need to release the dinghy before that. I mean, my position on all this always is nothing that a sharp knife can't fix very damn quickly. And this is why if you ever watch our older videos, we always keep a knife at the helm station. Always. It is good sailing practice to have a sharp knife somewhere that is always available inside of 10 seconds. Apart from that, super excited, excited to see the stove, excited to see the life raft, excited to see the different changes they've made to this boat. And I and Therese are getting very, very, very pumped about where we're going with this. So what do you think of that? Ruby Rose 2, one month of completion. Super exciting to see this. All the furniture over there being manufactured by Kevin, the master carpenter, electronics going in. Really super excited to see these last bits. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back with you next week. But it will be two weeks from going to Australia. But we'll be back next week with another episode detailing the build and how we're getting on with it. So take care of ourselves. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for all of you who provided feedback on those speakers. Thanks to you, we've changed everything now. And for those of you that sent really detailed emails, we know who you are and we really very much appreciate your input from the position of audio files. Anyway, I'm off to Australia to see the girl. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye.